So we first noticed that Gloria was pregnant during an annual exam. All of our animals here at the zoo have annual exams done by our veterinarian and during that routine exam we did an ultrasound. Noticed that there was a, that she had a baby inside of her. We saw the rib cage. And so from there we could kind of figure out based on when we saw initial breeding, when we could count out how far along she was and when she would be due. And we were almost spot on. We were within a week or so. The baby was born the night between July 5th and July 6th. So we pretty much just say that it was born on July 6th. We don't know the gender yet. Uh, we have a tentative first exam plan for the first week of September. But for right now, we wanted to give mom and baby a chance to bond in quiet space. The male does live next door and they are, she's very used to him. She's very comfortable with him there. But because males have no, re, no way in helping care for the baby, we don't allow them with each other. This is an incredibly important birth because these two anteaters were put together from the species survival plan. And that's a group that gets together once a year, twice a year, depending on the species, and looks at all the genetics for every giant anteater in the country or every associated zoo and says, we need these pairs to breed, these pairs to breed, this pair had a baby and this facility has room. So they all work, we all work together to make sure that we have healthy, viable genetics and populations. Macaulay, our male, is a first time father and Gloria is a second time mother. She did have a previous baby in 2014, 2015 from a different male who sadly passed away but we're incredibly happy with this birth. They are a threatened species, so they are close to becoming endangered. They're on the brink. So we're incredibly excited about this, and come on down and see the baby.